Hello everyone, yeah, I'm Manuel from Studio Duo and I just want to walk you through how I structure my framer templates, how I structure my framer sites, building for clients and all in, in Studio Duo. So yeah, um, first and first uh, that you need to understand is um, websites are basically in, in, um, in structure, like card formats. So let me just explain. So this is Benfra. On Benfra, all of them have um, yeah, an alignment where at the right hand side it just stays there. Are like just aligned basically like a card not like a card but like a box where everything is inside so if you zoom out you will notice that um the box starts from here and end as this part there are some scenarios where um there could be some changes like for example this website where this starts from here and it's aligned with this one here but the contents start from here which is um aligned also so so how do you approach building project like this i usually use a method or a, a um thin suite i got from thin suite while building workflow sites is i would come on here and set first a page wrapper so the page wrapper will wrap all of my sections and all and depending on how each sections if each section have like very unique different layouts the one I try to do is um, rather than having this container here, then I'll have sections. Right, so this could be something like a row section. Right, then inside that row section, I'll duplicate this one. So each of those row sections we have their own specified container, which will be the same thing as one, two pixels. Right, like um say say having a max width to it, not on the width, not on this one. Oh, sorry. It should be 100 percent Yeah. To be that but in scenarios where for example now i'm building a simple website like um benfra where i know all of the sections will be inside that same container there won't be any difference so most times i just go ahead and just set the container from the page up by itself and give the page up a a pattern to it so sometimes i give it like this and many times i don't give it a top and bottom pattern just right and left then i change it so sometimes 40 pixels sometimes um 32 and all so um let me just walk you through that show show you a website i generated on frema with frema ai yeah pretty cool website uh generated a black and white kind of frema templates or something but the issue now with this if you notice um from this part here let me just show you their structure so frema the way it's structured is you have hero the text gallery footer right i won't really structure um this site like this right what i'll do instead is i'll just wrap all of this and call this page wrapper then i will set this to um fill and auto layout and don't forget to remove your gap very very important so um one issue with this the reason why the way this is is if you notice they have um on this part these sections there's a max width here right on this one but if you notice this part is not really aligned with with it i don't know why but they've they've, they've actually done a good job adding a max width to the content itself but rather than having situations like this, what i like doing is inside that arrow so for example this zero section i will have another one which will now be the container Right, the container will be set to fill, and this will be set to fit content, and I will set the container max width to one eighty or whatever max width I'm trying to to do here. Right, I'll change this, remove the max width here. Right, and set this to fill too. So this way now, um, if I'm viewing this from um a larger screen. So always be responsive. Also, of of course, you have to come in here and make some changes. I actually um changed so many stuff here, so that's the reason why it's it's messed up. But you might want to come here and just do some some changes here. Do it on your mobile too as well, and probably set this one to relative, so it will just automatically re um be responsive. Then you can set this to one hundred percent.
Like those those shows basic stuff really really matters. Like they just pull pull those pull those needles in, right? And I will do the same thing for year two, right? Um, where you have content, I'll use this as container. Then I'll set the max width here one two eighty. So this like is the way um it's basically structured most times. Yeah. But yeah, you can try it out and let me get your thoughts on, on how you structure your sites and, and all. Yeah, bye.